Hello there. Welcome to Dr. Marine. Your one-stop shop to all maritime learning endeavors. We all know that the fire triangle comprises of air, fuel and heat. Air is already present inside the crankcase. And a minimum of 13 percentage of oil mist to air ratio is an explosive mixture. Although lube oil is less volatile and has a high flash point, it forms into a mist at 200 degrees Celsius. And it explodes approximately at about 850 degrees Celsius. Heat is generated from hot spots inside the crankcase. These hot spots are created due to insufficient lubrication which paves way for friction between moving parts like bearings. Piston blow past also generates sufficient heat required for an explosion. In case of engines without a diaphragm. When lube oil comes in contact with the hot spots, it evaporates into a mist at approximately around 200 degrees Celsius. Oil mists floats towards a cooler region, and it condenses to form a readily ignitable white mist of 5 to 10 microns diameter. Few oil mist particles gets in contact with hot spots and liberate flammable gases like hydrogen and highly volatile double bonded acetylene. When the white mist along with flammable gases contacts the hot spots again, primary explosion takes place. Primary explosion produces a flame front which evaporates oil droplets on its path and a shock wave across the crankcase. When this flame front contacts the hot spots, it becomes unimaginably fast and lead to major shock wave across the crankcase. If the crankcase relief valve doesn't open, the shock wave would rupture the doors and thereby allowing air inside to cause a secondary explosion. When the relief valve opens, it relieves the pressure which causes a low pressure inside the crankcase. Non-return valves are being implemented to prevent air being drawn inside due to low pressure created inside the crankcase, leading to a secondary explosion. <laughs>